In this help video, we're going to learn how to use tags. Now, tags are similar to notes, except they're much more condensed. So we can sort of think of tags like a bookmark. They can be a placeholder, either in a video or attached to a lesson, that can help us remember where we might want to come back for whatever reason. So we can access all of our tags. Up at the top, we can find the My Tags section. Now, we'll look at this in a little bit, but first let's take a look at how we can create tags. So when we're on the page for a lesson, if we look underneath the lesson here, we'll find the Add Tag uh, little button. So if we were to just go ahead and click on that, we can add a tag to this entire lesson. So say this is a compositing, just for something to help us remember this particular lesson. Now, as soon as I do that, you notice down here we have the ability to view the tags for just this lesson as well as in this entire course now I don't actually have any other tags with the exception of the one that I just created in this course uh, but if we did we would be able to see those by clicking on in this course as opposed to in this lesson so this tag is applied to lesson number 11 so if I hop back to say come into a different lesson and then come in and apply a tag to list the lesson here there we go. We applied a tag. So now we have two tags, but only one of those tags is actually applied to this lesson. The other one is in this course, but if you remember, it's actually applied to a different lesson. So say I w remembering that, oh, I really wanted to uh, see how they did the compositing for this particular uh, character. We remember that we tagged this lesson with compositing. So we can quickly come in and click on this to get back to that lesson. All right, so that's pretty cool. And that's applied to the entire lesson. Now we can actually apply tags to a specific point in the video as well. So if we were actually watching the video, I'm going to go ahead and click play on this guy here. Now, as we're uh, watching this lesson, say if we're say somewhere around here, we wanted to add a tag to this particular time code. If we click the plus button on the playhead, we have the ability to add a tag. So I'm going to click add tag. Let's uh, call this tag say this is a uh, rim lighting uh, just something that they're doing so that I can remember that yeah this is where I want to come back to for this particular uh, part hit save we can see that it's been applied to this uh, time code in this lesson and now if we come back and if we were to come in and load this lesson here let's come back I'm in lesson 11 so let's come back and reload our lesson here scroll down we can see that we have three tags we have two of them in this lesson three of them in this course if you remember but if we look this guy here actually has a position marker of 530 so it's five minutes and 30 seconds into that lesson so tags can be just a really quick way of um, setting a bookmark either in the actual lesson itself or for the entire lesson in a course. Now, if we wanted to see all of our tags that we've created, we can come back up to My Tags. So let's go ahead and click on that. And we can see these are the tags that I've created. So these are the guys that I've actually created uh, during this particular video here. We can see the rendering tag we've created, the compositing tag. We can see that there's no tag on timeline which means this is for the entire lesson whereas the rim lighting tag that I created is set at five minutes and 30 seconds into that particular lesson and we can just click on the title here to get back to that lesson really really quickly now if we didn't want this tag anymore we could simply click on the delete icon here or over here in the left hand side of the overall listing we can go ahead and delete that tag and it'll be deleted from all of our tags so to recap, you can use tags to help remember a specific point in a tutorial or to simply tag a particular lesson with something that you want to refer back to later on.